Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the uh, First Order ATST. So, on the front of the box here, you see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, uh, a picture of the set in action, all the minifigures included, and Disney logo, and recommended ages 8 through 14, set number 75201, has 370 pieces. A nice graphite on the side again. And then to the back of it, see the same picture, or I mean different picture and all, but all the features of it, and yeah. And now to the booklet, you see the same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how it went on the audit survey. The pieces included, then after Lego Life, after some of the Last Jedi sets, after some of the New Wave sets, and the minifigures included with them, and the last building snaps. So now on to with the minifigures. The first stop is BB-8. Which just about simplistic as BB-8 since 2015. See, same printing, same pieces, everything. So this probably like getting it for like the tenth time if you did so. But then you get, and let's see, also get Finn in the first order disguise outfit. But in this metallic gunmetal gray color, and also has the riot baton. So at least good to have been in some other outfits, unlike with the stormtrooper outfit and all. And here is from the back, but no double side face as usual. And next up is Rose, also in the first order disguise outfit. And as you see, us. So all dark blue, just like the one that came with the battle pack last year. And it's the, has the same features as her normal hair piece does, but kind of molded into the hat piece, like many do. And there she is from the back. So barely a bit of back printing. And then her double side face. And lastly is a new version of Captain Phasma. It's the first time a Captain Phasma I think has appeared in a set in like a couple years now. The last time of which was in the First Order Transporter set from a couple few years ago. And see this torso printing kind of about the same as that one. But and back torso printing also like that. It actually has a double spear piece, like you've kind of seen in the trailers. And here's a little comparison of the last Cat and Fast one. So as you can see, the, the, the helmet printings are kind of quite different and all, which I kind of don't, don't get why, but if any of you know why, tell in the comments. And just like this last one, this is plain black face, Plain black head. Maybe later on they'll do one with an actual face print, but who knows? And now on to so also get this little elevator type of thing. So so some more of those like flat curved pieces. Those at the bottom. And see some of the like technic bricks going up. And then the actual elevator itself. A few studs on it and everything for that. So you can like make it go up and down like so. And there's like around three different uh, stopping points of it. Like that. And that. But with the red stud on there to be a little stopper for it. So it doesn't go all the way off. So 
so let's let me get at me if you want to. Link set. Now on to the main part of it is the ATST walker itself. It's a pretty alright build. So let's start from the ground up. Well, the leg area, just about the same as the one from row one a couple years ago. But the upper leg area, quite different from there. Legs, like jumper piece and everything. And same amount of like posability for that, but it's a little bit well posed more poseable than that. See? Well balances and all. And then for this upper area. Oh wait. Which has some stickers there, but kind of flat part of it. And then the like little thing to like turn the front part and on the back of it there's those look a couple of ventings, which are all stickers, unfortunately. Then to the frontish area, as you can see, there's the, you see, kind of like flat and plain, but it also get a couple of the like sprinkle watchers there, kind of exposed, they're quite exposed, but what are you gonna do? And as you can tell, up above the like a little control panel there and a little space to like store your BB-8 if you're in it. And you wonder if this is an ATST walker, then how come there's no large head peak part of it? Well, unless if you've seen the film, then you know. If you haven't, then you should see it. So here's a little comparison with the Rogue One ATST from a couple years ago. As you can see, it does have the actual headpiece, which the new one kind of doesn't. So it may be what they should have had, if you've seen the film, then is include that, but with a break apart feature, which would have been a little better, add some more fun features to it, and yeah. But besides that, kind of about the same stuff to it. There we go. Also, one of the flaws in it is with the little elevator thing included with it, is of how far it goes up. Like, the highest knot is. It kind of doesn't reach the, like, head part of it. The minifigure would probably just, character would have to, like, jump onto it and climb up to the observation area. So, this elevator, kind of a cliche. Like, why not include a couple more, like, uh, Technic pieces to make it go higher and all. But, you yeah. know. And so now, on to uh, the final verdict. So, my overall verdict with this is, I think this is a pretty good set, or a kind of alright set, adds a some different stuff to your Star Wars collections. Like, you know, it's an ATST, but it's a little different. And if there's any reason to get this, it's mainly for the Finn and Rose minifigures, because people are kind of have been kind of wanting them for a little while. And yeah. And if you're looking to pick this set up and for your last Jedi collection of sets, then go ahead and pick this up. And that's it with this video. See you all next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.